Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode of this Norwegian campaign and finally I'm going to attack this place. Uh, I didn't move first against these guys because I had other battles to do. So now I'm going to attack them. These are some mountain trolls. I do not see any archers though. Yeah, no archer units. So my archers should be fine. We march into battle. It's just about destroying the trolls as fast as possible, because that's the unit that has unlimited morale, they'll never rout. And after I've done that, the, their full army can be charged on the backs. That's, that's basically the plan. There we go. These guys, let me just go here. And now I can deploy these other ones. Actually, I'm gonna deploy these guys like this. These guys slightly to the back. Then I'll move the archers to the front. So that, or the infantry to the front so that the archers can fire fully. Okay, I do have only missile cavalry. Other than my general, you know. So let's just keep the general here. Okay, so you attack the mountain trolls, attack the mountain trolls, attack the mountain trolls, attack the mountain trolls, stop that. Attack the mountain trolls and attack the mountain trolls. Can you attack them? Yes, you can. So everyone is gonna go for the god mode. And these guys, should I move them towards the mountain trolls as well? I think I should. Like, I like that they are very deep ranks. It helps me a lot, you know. I'm gonna station them so that they can withstand a little bit of the charge. And right now, it's all about killing off these mountain trolls. There we go. Did I hit the mountain trolls? Yeah. So there's only eight, seven... We're killing off a lot of other units too. Okay. Whoops. These guys gotta go back. These guys gotta go back. Come on, let's run over here. Don't get caught. Yeah, you're no longer gonna fire at those. I'm just gonna hit that Moranon guard. He's trying to reach you. Yeah, because the trolls have been killed off, which means that I still have a couple of shots on these guys. That's cool. There we go. Yeah, that Morana God, poor God. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. That's nice. The body guard, let's hit the one in the middle and the other one over there. General bodyguard, you can go over here so that you'll charge over that whole coast or whatever. My archers are doing good damage. Yeah, they're hitting some Uruks here. I can actually hit these guys the with three. There we go. That's decent. There we go. And these guys, I'm just going to deploy them here. Here we go. Yeah, this Morandon God gets destroyed by just the Archer. So workers are shaking, shaking, shaking. There we go, let's attack those orc hosts. And I haven't lost anything there. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost let's retreat a little bit because these orc hosts are just getting destroyed by my archers. Uh, I could attack over there and just finish them out. But I'm having so much fun attacking with the, ar the archers. You know, it's just awesome seeing these guys trying to get through. They're getting killed. So are these Alberts. And my Avari all the pikemen are just doing so fine. I mean, why not? Okay, but it's time to fight. Okay, I'm 
all in at orders. I selected the archer, so I took the auto fire off. There you go. And these guys should just move in. in melee. Their their charge should be enough to cause all of the army to rout. You know. Most ready. Can you even get those units? I'll try. Everyone running away. Some of them are fighting to the death. That's okay. Let's go faster. Let's go. Time six. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Yeah. It's time to press the attack. Most of them are nearly already dead. Take those here, and what do we have there? We have some units. There we go. Let's go against that old coast, and that should be it. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. I keep getting less and less casualties. That's cool. So it's working, I would say. Now it could also, you know, since since these are no cavalry units, and I have uh, elven archers, I can also just send in the archers and you know scatter them around so that they they won't get caught and they'll get extra casualties. But you know, I I have a very good line of infantry, so why not? You know, it's, it's like I'm losing, like I said, ten units on each infantry unit or something. If if most. If less, actually. Okay, let me spot how Minas Tirith is. Not really well guarded, I would say. Your orders, my lord. So I can just siege Ker Andrus. Probably he'll try to attack yes. me, so that's okay. Now Moranon is in four turns. This is in nine. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my this lord. This is in four turns. This yes, should move afterwards. There's no threats here. Hasn't seen. An order. This guy is doing pretty fine. Okay, let me just see these units where these armies. Your did orders. I move them? Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes, I did. Yes, my lord. I'm gonna wait here yes. so that I can gather up the troops properly and attack. Your orders, this my guy lord. is gonna attack those Dol Umroth armies. Hopefully I'm not gonna get plagued there with those uh, generals, you know. Because all of this is happening with just the armies that, you know, with the armies that are not the most experienced ones, you know. <laughs> I still haven't sent the any of the armies that has been fighting, uh, that fought against Umbar and fought against Arad. Okay, not a really good guy, so I'm just going to wait on this. Still death stocks the land there, but lots of money. Rubar built that. Oh, actually, they're going to build a lot home. Didn't notice that. Let's go for the hero shrine, why not? Sheep farming, yeah. Set a ghost, let's get tomb. Umbar, let's get to tomb as well. There we go. And recruitment report. Now we're getting somewhere. So priorities to the infantry units, and then priorities to the Avadi archers. You know. Santanui, priorities to this. There you go. Got his fellow Thrym. Fun riders. Cavalry or archers, actually. Lothal bed. Thorn riders. Yeah, can't build anything there. Ilanin. I, I don't know if I even should be building up these units. I don't think I'll need them. But it's just to make sure that I don't get surprised. You know. There we go. Kurvasag. Kurvasag. Okay, just this. Mistrand. Yeah, there we go. Elgair, let's get another one. Thorn Riders, you're nothing here. By the Shadows, you're nothing here. That's cool. So even though I'm spending so much money, I still have a lot of money to go through. And at this time, I think that I already have more than enough units yes, to deal with with mortar. With honor. 
This tower Your orders, my lord. I would love to get the... Um, actually, I don't know if I should be sending these catapults. They're just hindering my movement. Well, I'll decide here. I'll certainly not send my general there. Um, my lord. This guy, I gotta Without keep an eye question, here. As you wish. Yeah, it seems that Tarnost is gonna get destroyed, and maybe the Aethering and Kalimbel. Just wanna spot if this is um, Rothian, or even Gondorian. Seems like it's from Gondor. So that's cool. Gondor is still alive and doing well. It is, I mean, considered, considering the facts, you know. As long as they are alive, they're doing pretty well, I say. Okay, Pelagir, I could take it. Oh, there's a lot of units. But I'm just going to send forces over here to Karazest. We shall prevail, my lord. Let me check this up. There's the biggest general. I was kind of hoping that they would attack me on Karandras. These units. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do. Okay, Moranen is going to fall. Yes, my lord. So these armies. This guy is just going to keep moving As there. Your orders, my lord. This guy is going to go over there. This guy. Just moves. Yes, my lord. There we go. Your orders, my lord. With honor. There you go. You can build the watchtower there. Tower, what? My lord. I don't think there's anyone here, but I'll just check it. Sometimes yes, they may lord. run Your or orders, something. So one of these armies should go straight up to this Eisenmouth Castle. Yes. That you should be the one. Further, this yes, one is going to go over here near Estelad. Yeah, that's a lot of works there. I'm gonna need some troops. This guy is just staying back here. I mean, I, it's not a full army, and it's not a very advanced unit, so I'm just gonna need them Your to order, be there. Yeah. Your and receiving troops and such. As you wish. There we go. But there's so many units that I have here. I'll start moving them in eventually. For now, I don't think I actually need them. I mean, yes, I have more lord. than enough men. Okay, so the battle that we're going to have here uh, is against the faction you. leader of Dol Guldur. Now, do I have any spies nearby that I can check the units? I don't, so I guess I'm just going to have to fight them. But, you can see by the map that the best position would be here. So what do you have? Now, of course, the Count Mool's Shadow Knights are very powerful. This guy has some Uruk bodyguards, it's fine. I'm gonna stick you. This guy has some Uruk bodyguards, it's fine. They're not I'm very powerful. Then there's some Shadow Guards, some Mur Murkut Uruk Blades. These Shadow Bows are interesting. The Castellans of Dol Gudur, they're nice. And the Warg Marauders as well. But overall, this is a very easy battle. Yes, my lord. To battle. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is a very powerful unit. This is decent. Decent. These guys are, uh, I gotta be careful about. Now, most of the, the units are good, but yeah, I pretty much have enough to deal with this guy. So. We attack. Do consider that I'm fighting the invasion, but of course, there's no Harad, there's no Umbar, there's no Rune. I think the Orcs of the Misty Mountains or the Remnants of Angmar have been destroyed. Isengard is no more, so. It's only Mordor and Dol Guldur, and Dol Guldur lost the capital, so it's not like they're going to send too many armies here. Oh god, really? Do I have this? <laughs> Alright, so I couldn't wait, I couldn't hope for the better location to have eight archers in. Hopefully we'll be able to draw them. Hopefully I'll be able to draw them in. Okay, I'm going to position these guys here. They can't deploy there, but they can deploy here, right? There you go. There we go. So that's eight archer units that will be able to hit them. Powerful, powerful. Uh, actually, this time I am going to deploy stakes. I think so. I mean, I can't deploy everywhere. But whatever I can, I will deploy them. Really, you can't deploy, but you can deploy there. Advance. 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 
Yeah, some some of the places you can't actually deploy, because that would mean deploying them on the road. Usually that doesn't allow you. And these guys also can't deploy properly. Well, I guess they can. Okay, this is cool. That way it's a little bit more defended. I guess I can send these guys here and deploy as well. That's good. So my archers are pretty much defended. can move this guy here. Uh, this guy will just here backwards. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I got to be extremely careful. If I'm going like this, I'm not going to use, you know, cavalry for the most part. So these guys are the ones who are going to move over there, if necessary. Actually, I want to move here. I don't know if I even need them, but still, you know. These guys are just here. There we go. There we go. So Archer Fire. Suddenly they're doing just great. Let me move here. Let me move here. There we go. Of course the best target right now would be the Marauders. I guess they can hit other types of units as well. I mean, they can even hit the Camus. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So I'm just going to wait for them. I mean, there's lots of infantry here. Yeah, but right now I can just hold on and wait for my units to deplete their ammunition. Oh, really? They're not attacking? Oh, I was, I was thinking something was off. Stop. Halt. Not tell me. Can you or can't you? Yeah, they can't. Of course they can't. You can just time 6 this and me not gonna do anything. Yeah, it seems like they have range, but they actually don't. This is a smi minor bug because it can't um, it can't calculate properly the um, uh, the range with the um, with the elevation. So what I'm gonna do is just send these guys here. Let me concentrate because I don't want them going through this. Yeah, that will happen. So these guys are gonna go over there and draw the units. I can almost time six here, yeah. So I want these guys to go over here and cause some damage. It's unnerving that these guys say that they are reloading, but they are not. <laughs> okay, now he does have very good archer units, but they are over here. Maybe I can send these guys here and they'll start attacking these guys are actually attacking no they're not look see that let me see the distance there we go you guys have to go like here to even hit them so let's go as soon as my archers start attacking then then you're gonna see these guys running but, so I think they are able to attack Actually, the the, sh the Camus shadow bows now they're moving in, but my guys can actually send some shots. There we go. Now I could charge with these guys against the Camus shadow bows, but they would be caught up with these war marauders. So always a problem when this happens. Hopefully, my archers can actually hit these Camus shadow bows. What point? Finally, they're starting to shoot at the Camus Shadow Bow, so that's good. I'll force. It seems like they want to engage in melee, which is quite strange. But right now, I'm not going to question that. Let me just move back. Because those Marauders, yeah, they can cause some problems, you know. They can cause some trouble. Right now, these are only 44, so they won't cause too many casualties. 3 actually. And my archer fire is doing pretty well. So these spearmen. I guess I'm gonna send these guys here. There we go. 
And these spearmen, let me just move them here. There we go. Spearmen here. I shouldn't be moving these guys too much, but I really need that. You know, I really need units defending mostly the infantry against the infantry. You know, behind the stakes so that the Camus get destroyed by the stakes. Yeah, and look, he's finding the proper place, I would say, to move in with those guys. I'm not going to care about the other units because they're getting destroyed. But over here, it's getting great. There we go. Yeah, Kamul's stakes up melee infantry too because they disturb enemy information. That's true, that's true. I always try to put the stakes uh, in a way that I'll, I'll use these, uh, you know, this idea. Um, it's good that they are routing here or nearby. This guy, I'm gonna put him here. Well, these Marauders, they're not going to survive there. So I think I can just move this guy against the Camus. Yeah, I just have to be careful about their infantry units because they, they will move in, you know. Camus, yeah, they, they have to die, of course. And where where's the wargs? They all died. Cool. So I can just move these guys here, I guess. There we go, Camus Shadow Knights, they're dying. They're very powerful. They're very cool. I mean, I love the eye there. But yeah, these Castellans of Dolgodur and other units, come on. It's, even the bodyguards, they're just arriving and dying. Mokut Uruk Blades, okay, that's nice. Let me just move these guys here now. There we go. So as soon as the general dies, I have a very good advancing, um, like a very good positioning here. I mean, there's literally a bodyguard here. These Castellans, now they are going to do damage. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to position these guys here, and I'll charge them on the backs. These spearmen, let's see how well they develop. So one general is dead, that's probably one of these bodyguards. Yeah, there we go. Another one will fall, and this Kamul shadow guard should die. There we go, another general died, so my archers are kind of free now. I can charge these Castellans. Gotta be careful a little bit there. Yeah, these horse, ar horse archers, I'm gonna move them here. These Camus. Let's send the Avadi guard there. There we go. And the enemy general has fallen. The battle is these guys, I gotta be careful. Victory will be ours. You know, I'm just gonna position these guys here. I know that they don't do too much on the charge, but they'll still do decent, I mean. Gotta be careful with those stakes. I wish there was a button to undeploy stakes, like they, they would pick them up or, you know, wreck them or something like that. For now, the archers seem to be hitting the only targets they can hit. Yeah, these guys, I'm not gonna tell them anything. I'm just gonna charge here. There we go. Come on, I told you to charge. Vani God, you should take this. Yeah. Right now they don't have any any generals, so they're just suffering a lot. Wow, that charge did amazingly well. These guys are running away, so I'm just fighting here. Uh, you guys, you're the largest unit, so you're gonna pursue those. There we go. This is so that, you know, the generals, I can concentrate them easily and avoid the stakes, but these these bigger units, I can't. You know. 
Over here, okay, I can charge these guys. Can charge those. I think everyone is running away now. The enemy army flees the field. There we go. And run them down. Okay, right now I should stop the auto fire. General, you're gonna go over there, down there. These guys, did I lost some units on the stakes? No, it doesn't seem like it. I think I can put time six without worrying too much about my own stakes. So yeah, I lost one percent. You know, perfect positioning always helps when you get this. Uh, when you see the the, the initial uh, place, you know, on the map, always remember that the map kind of predicts a little bit of how the how the battle today. map will be. So, 15 men dead. That was cool. That was really cool. Alright, one less invasion army. They still haven't managed to, to even start the siege. <laughs> and it's just one army that has been fighting all of these. Without any reinforcements whatsoever. <laughs> this army is actually just going to straight up push to Pelagir. That'll be on the next episode, though. Like, Lord of Dogledur is dead. I don't know if the, even the faction is destroyed or anything. Like, there were three generals there. Glory, honor, victory. And it's not like they have a lot. They lost the Lord capital as well. So where can they actually reach? Oh, over there. So I'm gonna ho go back so that I can fight this guy. So, sieging up Carissa, sieging Care Andrews, I'm sieging most of their places. Baradur there, that was also, that was also awesome. Right, everything else will be on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!